In the small town of Ravenwood, nestled amidst eerie woods and fog-laden streets, a butcher named Henry ran a shop renowned for its delectable sausages. Little did the townsfolk know that these sausages were not merely a culinary delight, but carriers of a sinister secret. Henry had stumbled upon a hidden patch of mutated cannabis deep within the woods. Its potent properties fascinated and intrigued him, sparking a malevolent idea. He began incorporating the mutated cannabis into the seasoning of his sausages, creating a recipe that promised an otherworldly experience. Word quickly spread about the extraordinary sausages, and Ravenwood's inhabitants lined up eagerly to taste the unique flavours. They savoured the delicious morsels, unaware of the dark transformation lurking within. But as the townsfolk indulged in excessive quantities of the cannabis, infused sausages, strange occurrences began to unfold. Some individuals started to experience disorienting hallucinations, while others complained of feeling a strange sense of detachment from reality. The transformations were gradual but unmistakable. Those who consumed excessive amounts of the sausages began to dissipate into thin tendrils of cannabis smoke, their bodies fading away into nothingness. Panic and confusion gripped Ravenwood as more and more people vanished without a trace. Among the townsfolk, a young woman named Emily sensed that something was amiss. Suspicion fueled her determination to uncover the truth behind the disappearances. She embarked on a perilous journey into the heart of darkness, determined to unravel the mystery surrounding Henry's sausages. As Emily delved deeper into the enigmatic forest, she stumbled upon an abandoned cabin hidden among the gnarled trees. Inside, she discovered a secret laboratory filled with vials of the mutated cannabis and notes detailing Henry's experiments. But her presence did not go unnoticed. The door slammed shut behind her, trapping Emily inside. Henry, now revealed as a malevolent puppeteer behind the vanished townsfolk, emerged from the shadows, a sinister smile etched across his face. You've uncovered my secret, my dear, Henry sneered, brandishing a wickedly sharp knife. And now you shall join the others in becoming part of my grand experiment. Emily's heart raced as she searched for an escape route, her mind racing with fear and desperation. She spotted a ventilation shaft high above her only chance for survival. Summoning every ounce of strength, Emily fought back, lashing out at Henry with all her might. In a flurry of desperate strikes, she managed to stun him momentarily, giving her enough time to climb into the ventilation shaft. Henry, fueled by rage, pursued her relentlessly through the narrow passageways. The chase echoed with bone-chilling screams and the clanging of metal against metal as Emily desperately scrambled to stay ahead. With every passing moment, the mutated cannabis within the sausages began to affect Henry, distorting his senses and heightening his irrational. The once affable butcher had become a monstrous creature, fueled by a frenzied desire to capture Emily. In a final desperate bid for survival, Emily emerged from the ventilation shaft, finding herself on the rooftop of Henry's shop. The town square sprawled beneath her, silent and desolate, as if holding its breath. But Henry was relentless, closing in on her with monstrous determination. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she made a daring leap across the rooftops, narrowly evading Henry's outstretched grasp. As Emily sprinted through the empty streets of Ravenwood, the entire town seemed to awaken, consumed by a sinister energy. Shadows danced along the walls, whispering haunting secrets, as if the very essence of the mutated cannabis permeated the air. The chase continued through the night, with Emily navigating treacherous alley, ways and dodging unseen dangers. The line between reality and nightmare blurred as she pushed herself to the limits of her endurance. Finally, in the darkest corners of Ravenwood Cemetery, Emily found her salvation, a hidden underground tunnel leading to an ancient crypt. She dashed inside, praying for respite from the relentless pursuit, as the crypt door slammed shut behind her, Emily caught her breath, listening intently for any sign of Henry's presence. The air grew thick with an eerie silence, broken only by her own rapid heartbeat. Moments turned into agonizing hours as Emily waited in the darkness, uncertain of her fate. Had she managed to escape Henry's clutches, or was he still lurking, waiting for the perfect moment to strike? Just as doubt began to creep into her mind, a faint groan echoed through the crypt. Emily's heart skipped a beat as the sound grew louder, approaching from within the labyrinthine corridors. With trembling hands, she searched for a way out, her fingers grazing the cold stone walls. In a stroke of luck, Emily discovered a hidden passage, 
Concealed behind a crumbling statue, she followed the narrow passageway, guided by a dim, flickering light that seemed to promise salvation. The path twisted and turned, leading her deeper into the heart of the crypt. Finally, she emerged into a moonlit chamber, its atmosphere thick with ancient dust and a sense of foreboding. As Emily caught her breath, she realized she had stumbled upon the final resting place of Ravenwood's cursed past, a graveyard of forgotten souls, but there was no time for reflection or solace. Henry's haunting presence lingered, reminding her that the chase was far from over. With each passing moment, his footsteps grew louder, reverberating through the cold stone corridors. Determined to escape the clutches of the cannabis, infused butcher, Emily pushed herself further, running through the maze of tombstones and mausoleums. Her breath came in ragged gasps as she pushed past the limits of her physical and mental endurance. Suddenly, as if guided by a hidden force, Emily found herself standing before a decrepit statue, its eyes glazed with an otherworldly glow. Instinctively, she reached out, pressing her palm against the stone surface. The ground beneath her trembled, and a gust of wind swept through the graveyard, carrying with it an eerie silence. Time seemed to freeze as Emily's surroundings transformed before her eyes. The mutated cannabis plants that had plagued Ravenwood began to wither and crumble, their power fading away. Henry's pursuit came to an abrupt halt as he stumbled weakened by the sudden loss of his source of strength. Seizing the opportunity, Emily mustered her remaining strength and sprinted towards the exit of the graveyard. The moon's pale light guided her path as she broke free from the clutches of Ravenwood's horrors. As Emily emerged into the cool night air, the town lay before her, its streets empty and silent. The twisted influence of the mutated cannabis had been eradicated, cannabis had been eradicated, leaving behind only remnants of the chilling ordeal. Breathing a sigh of relief, Emily vowed to protect Ravenwood from the malevolent forces that threatened its existence. The town would never forget the darkness that had enveloped them, a cautionary tale etched in their collective memory. But as she glanced over her shoulder, Emily couldn't shake the lingering feeling that the seeds of evil had not been fully extinguished. She knew that the horrors she had faced were merely a glimpse into a deeper, more insidious realm, one that she was determined to uncover and confront. With resolve in her heart, Emily vowed to delve into the mysteries of the mutated cannabis, ensuring that its terrors would never haunt Ravenwood again. And as she ventured into the unknown, she carried with her the hope of redemption, a beacon of light in the darkest of nights.